Hey guys, what's going on? So this is a Shark Ion 850 suction motor. It looks pretty similar to the Thousand Series. They're a little different, but this will work for them as well. If you came here from watching the 750 video, you know why. Obviously, you were looking at the wrong video. And if you have a 750 or 725, you can take the principles from this one. Just know I have a video on this one. All right. So this is the Shark Ion 850 variable speed uh, PCB controlled suction motor. You got one, two Phillips heads right here, and you have a bunch of, you know, three clips. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove our little rubber grommets out of this. Just because it does make things a little bit easier when taking them apart. These ones are a little bit harder to get out than the 750. So, we got two of those. Yeah. My battery's dead on that screwdriver. What a shame. I really like that thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and put a little bit of force down on those and take these out. So there's gonna be two Phillips head. Three clips. I will let you know now those clips are gonna probably break. So get some super glue. Alright. So you can pretty much do everything you need to do from here. You can inspect the fins on the inside. You can inspect them from here. But if you need to, you can open it up more. You can also take this board and the entire assembly out once you open this. It will break. So will these clips. Look, no clip broke. The bad thing is, it won't come apart unless you remove these. Even then, it doesn't want to come apart. So, I don't know if they radio wave welded these or what. Well, no, high frequency welded them. There we go. All right. So here it is. See your little fan. Check your fans for damage, debris, things clogged in it, hair up under it. You can remove it. Note to self, you'll probably break it because I, I break them quite often. You'll take a flathead and you'll go around it and you'll go around it. And this one's already breaking. You'll go around it and you'll go around it. And look, <laughs> it broke. They're not the strongest things, but you can. Oh, this one won't do it. You could get these off. Heating it up would probably be the best bet because there's probably some kind of glue or something. So heat it up in the middle with a hair dryer or a heat gun, and you might be able to get that off. I've gotten two off so far all the rest of them broke so I, I recommend replacing that if it comes down to that then you can take the screws out and you can pull the motor assembly oh that whole plate's got to come out I forgot about that so once you get the whole plate assembly I don't know if I can get this off or not yeah. Once you get the whole plate assembly, you can pull this this uh, coil, and inside here we have the housing for the for the motor. <clears throat> so honestly, thinking about it, the best bet for this would honestly just be to remove the the motor right here, yank it off. Um, other than that, you're going to really be fighting with it, trying to get it without breaking it. So, either way, once you grab the top of this and pull, you're going to break this piece off. So, just be aware of that. You can get it apart. So, if you want to use this motor for something, you could. I do, I do have these for sale, and if they're not listed, let me know, and I'll check and see if I have any left. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's pretty much just a video of me destroying stuff, but hey, you gotta destroy things to learn things.